Good evening, everybody. I'm Kempson Cross alongside Cole Johnson. Happy Friday. Happy Football Friday. Happy to have you with us inside Washington Grizzly Stadium for Spartan Live Football on MCAT. Missoula Sentinel Spartans versus the Billing Senior Bronx tonight in a double-A Montana high school football matchup. Hand off to Crawford, fighting Got for it. yardage, touchdown Sentinel. That might be a touchdown for Missoula Sentinel. Yeah, touchdown Spartans, Caden Ingram. Billing Senior 37, Missoula Sentinel 13 will be the final score. We welcome you to Missoula County Public School Stadium for Butte High and Missoula Sentinel. Hand off Crawford. And he breaks off the left side and he's in. Touchdown. Crawford, handoff, two yard line, goal line. He is in. Touchdown, Sentinel. Peterson rolling out to his right on second down. He's got his receiver and it bounces. Oh, it's intercepted. It bounced right off his hands and into the hands of the Spartan defensive back. Roberts first and 10, throws it out there, Germer, got blocks, there he goes, 20, 15, 10, touchdown! Spin move and Peterson going up top, it's intercepted! And there come the Spartans, it's gonna be a touchdown! Crawford will try the right side, 20, 15, 10, 5, see ya! End zone, Connor Crawford, his third touchdown of the game! The Spartans win it by a final score, of 35 to 10 over the Butte High Bulldogs. Missoula City Championship between the Sentinel Spartans and the Big Sky Eagles. Janicaro back to pass. He'll throw to the near side. Wakai is out there. Tip drill interception. Justin Campbell in the end zone for the Spartans. A fake handoff by Roberts going up top to Germer again, and it's a touchdown this time. Handoff Crawford. Touchdown. He had three rushing touchdowns last week against Butte. This is his first of the night. 30-yard field goal, left hash. And it is a fake field goal. Looking to the end oh. zone, near the end zone. <laughs> Almost a touchdown. <laughs> It'll be first and goal at the one on a fake field goal from Mitch Roberts to Connor Rockhorse. That was gutsy. Handoff to Crawford. Touchdown, Missoula Sentinel. The Missoula City champions for 2016 are the Big Sky Eagles. We welcome you to Washington Grizzly Stadium here in Missoula, Montana, where the Sentinel Spartans are hosting an undefeated football team in the Glacier High Wolf Pack. The waters from his eight has got a seam to run through. He's got a lot of room. He's got the kicker to beat. 50, 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10. See you later. Elias to waters, 92 yards. Second down in four, Roberts is gonna run. He's got some room, 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 10, five, touchdown, Missoula Sentinel. Kick is on its way and it is no good. So big stop by the Spartans. Hey, they held them after the interception. They're gonna get the ball back. It's first time Glacier hasn't scored in this football game when they've touched the ball offensively or at least with a chance to score as was the case on the pick six. That can be a turning point in this game. As it's Morley, Morley's gonna throw it. He's got a man open. Ethan Jones for the touchdown. Snap, Crawford to the goal line he and he's got to be in now. Wow. Fake handoff, Mitch Roberts gonna keep, he's got a man wide open, it's Germer to the 30, 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Missoula Sentinel. Gillum out, and he threw an interception. He throws it behind his receiver, and I believe that's Danny McKittrick. Waters in motion, fake the handoff to DeWaters, and it's gonna be thrown over the middle, and it's a touchdown, Germer. Handoff, Crawford stood up. Nope, he got in, he pushed his way across. Fourth down and 13, last gasp for the Spartans, and it is gonna be caught inside the five. It's a first down. Here we go, third down and goal from the one. 53 seconds and counting. Crawford to the end zone, he is in. Crawford in motion, or DeWire's in motion. Roberts keeps in, he gets in. Touchdown Spartans, and they have their first lead of the game. Anderson for the point after. 
snap is good, kick is up, and kick is good. And the Glacier High Wolfpack have hung on by the skin of their teeth, 63-62. Missoula Sentinel Spartans hosting the Kalispell Flathead Braves. And it's a touchdown for Connor Crawford. Straight ahead on the rush. Bridger Johnson, pump fake, under pressure. Diving attempted an interception. Brandon Morley made wow. it at the 36 yard line. Almost blocked, great effort there. Oh. But instead, Spencer Peppinger converts to make it 10-0. It'll be a 37-yard attempt. And it's blocked! Flathead finally clawed their way back to a 10-10 tie. They blocked Spencer Peppinger's last field goal. Now it's a 27-yard field goal left hash. This one's up. No good. No good. Wow. Wide right. Four <laughs> seconds to go in regulation, and oh. we might be headed for overtime. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we'll be heading for overtime. Here is Mitch Roberts on a quarterback keeper. Five-yard touchdown. And now they're looking for a touchdown. Johnson on the rollout play action. Throws. Picked off. Intercepted. That is it. And that's it. It's over. 17 to 10 will be the final. Missoula Sentinel Spartans on senior night finally get the win over the Flathead Braves. We hope you had as much fun as we did once again. Kempson Cross for Cole Johnson and the entire Spartan Live football on MCAT crew. We thank you for watching. Y'all come back. Welcome to Wake Up Sports on Missoula Community Access Television. I'm Cole Johnson. I'm Kempson Cross. And we have head coach of the Missoula Sentinel football team, Dane Oliver, um, in the studio with us. Dane, your team finished 6-5 and five on the season. You lost in the quarterfinals to Glacier High at 35-14. Um, can you give us just your thoughts overall on the season itself? Yeah, it, just on a personal level, yeah. it was a very enjoyable experience for me as head coach. Uh, had a great group of seniors that uh, you know, every day they came to work with a positive attitude, and I think that trickled down to the younger kids. So, uh, as far as record-wise, uh, you know, what we had to overcome, uh, you know, I, I was pleased. Outside looking in, uh, if you, if, where Sentinel's been history-wise, playoffs, I mean, it's the fourth playoff berth in 30 years. So, outside looking in, I mean, it's a tremendous accomplishment. Internally, um, as a competitive person, the coaching staff, I, I still feel like we, we let some plays out there. and. You know, I think that's always the way it's going to be as a head coach. You're, you're never going to be where you want to be. Right. Um, so, overall, pleased with the effort. Uh, you know, a great experience for the kids, but, you know, still, we still got work to do. Yeah, and even as you look ahead to next season, what are some goals that, uh, specific goals that you feel are kind of the next step for your program? I think it's getting that playoff win. You know, we, uh, uh, you know, we got there, we got that experience, and we were, we were beat up in some key positions. Mitch Roberts. The last three games was playing with a high ankle sprain, and, and Spencer right. Shock, probably our, you know, key guy at middle backer, also played left tackle for us. Had a high ankle sprain, so two key positions. So I just want to be healthy going in that playoff game. Not an excuse. You got to find a way to get it done. But I think that's the next step is is getting in the tournament and then and finding that way to win that game. Looking into your coaching philosophy, one of the yeah. things you talked about after the Flathead game is you feel like, you know, in years past you were more emotional yeah. and you talked about having the kids make their own mistakes. Yeah. Can you go a little bit more in depth with, with that, kind of what that looks like, kind of the, the general mistakes that we're talking about and yeah. just like with your emotions, how you've been able to yeah, teach and coach? I, yeah, I think, uh, you know, one thing we emphasized this year was uh, it's called the cycle of a football play. So just, you know, uh, the one play at a time mentality. And I think when you do that, you take away some of that emotional roller coaster. Um, and so we were just very deliberate about teaching, uh, you know, what your process is to go through each play. I get the call, mental checklist, um, you know, how do I communicate that to my teammates? Uh, I play the play and then I start that cycle all over again. So we're really talking about 124 individual plays that I got to go through on average. Um, and when you do that, 
then you flush that play that happened previously. Whether it was good or bad, now I got to play the next play. Um, so it was just kind of a deliberate mindset, and we were very uh, cognizant that, that football is an emotional game. We want to ride that emotion, but uh, we, can't, we can't have these ups and downs so much. And I think it paid off in those big, you know, we, we were in three overtime games, and in all three I felt like we gave ourselves a shot. We won two of them, you know, but... Uh, it's not bad winning two. Yeah, no, I mean, it was... It was uh, those are, those are neat experiences to go through and as a head coach to see those kids uh, perform in those difficult situations. Uh, you know, it was rewarding for me on a personal level. Yeah, Ethan Jones doesn't make that catch in the Butte game, yep. or excuse me, in Great Falls. Yep. Yeah, you guys don't even make the playoffs potentially exactly. there. So that was a big play for sure. So, yeah. Um, well, and the key word kind of since August has been finish for yep. you guys. And AA football is about to finish up with the state championship. Nate Dick had five total touchdowns in Billing Seniors 35-21 win over Helena Capital. Uh, this past weekend, Kalispell Glacier, a, uh, a late surge in the fog after five turnovers. They overcame those to get a 29-14 win over Helena. So that's that's the matchup is Kalispell Glacier at Billing Senior. We really want to get your perspective because we know you scouted both these teams because Missoula Sentinel played both of these teams this season. What do you expect from this game? You know, I expect it's a pretty solid football game. Two well-coached teams. I mean, have a ton of respect for Coach Murdoch at Senior. Uh, they're Athletically, I, 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 it's tough to match up with them. Uh, I mean, as as you guys saw, I mean, Gabe Solser can get a ball and just go on a basic football play, just throw it to him, and and he's gonna yeah, he's, he's gonna t a normal team will a normal player will make that just a 15 yard gain in his or a 60 yard touchdown. So, you know, that's that's scary. Uh, you know, as far as Glacier, I think they're just extremely well coached and they've got the culture of winning. Uh, so it's going to be a it's going to be a great matchup between those two teams. I'm excited to to watch it. <clears throat> Don't know the edge. I, I think it'll be closer than people think. I think Glacier will put together a pretty good game plan. You know, you got to take a seven hour trip down to Billings for Glacier. Yeah. So I know they've done that trip before, but uh, and, and Grady's changed his philosophy on it. Sometimes they used to go over the night before, and in the past couple of years they drove over the morning of. So you're getting up real early you know, 5 a.m. traveling down. So it'll be interesting to see how they manage that on, in a state championship game. So uh, a, a lot of unknowns, but and they haven't played each other. Uh, just two terrific programs. The one game Glacier lost, Jackson Ashley did not play. So uh, he had, after our game, he went in and got his, you know, his knee cleaned up. So, you know, he's a difference maker. I don't think he was healthy when they played us in the stadium. Uh, so we go up there, and, and he was tough. To, I mean, he's a he's a great player, tremendous athlete, and he, I think he's a difference maker for Glacier. So uh, we'll see. It'll be fun. Yeah, I expect a close game as well. You know, the uh, these have been the top two teams for much of the year. Yep. It seems like, and and um, you know, I think this will this will be very close. And I think you know, uh, when as with any close game and with any great teams, yep. it's probably going to be one at halftime with those adjustments and stuff like that. For sure, for sure. Yeah, the defensive seniors pretty stout for sure. But yeah, Gabe Solser, like you mentioned, yeah, yeah you throw him the ball, he's going to catch yeah. it. Seemed like every time, especially in that first game, yeah. <laughs> they were throwing. Nathan Dick was rhythm. throwing. Throwing it to him and he was and catching so, it. And so, you know, as, from a defense perspective, what do you do? Do you take away? Do you double Solser, and then that opens up running lane for for Nate Dick, who might be as good, if not better, than Gabe. So it's it's tough, and they move Gabe around so much. So it'll be interesting to see what Glacier does defensively against him. All right. Well, thanks so much for being on the program, Dane. Appreciate all you guys do. Yeah, you thank bet. Thank you so much. Thanks this has been uh, Wake Up Sports on the Zula Community Access Television. Uh, we thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a terrific week.